If you were busted for weed, a group of lawyers in Newark offered their legal services for free today. The expungement clinic was hosted by legal and racial justice organizations to provide pro bono assistance for anyone with nonviolent cannabis convictions to clear the records. After recreational cannabis became legal last year, hundreds of thousands of criminal convictions involving small amounts of marijuana were automatically expunged. But anyone with a case that involved other charges must go to court to get their records clear. CEO correspondent Joanna Gagas reports. They ran the, the background check. We were able to see that I didn't have anything else under my record and then they put the uh, motion in to expunge the record. Edward Ramirez walked out of this expungement clinic in Newark a little lighter than when he walked in. Two marijuana charges lighter in fact. One was uh, New Year's Eve of 2010. Uh, it was caught smoking a joint outside and then the other one was in Guttenberg, uh, same thing, smoking outside and, and was arrested on those charges. What's been the impact on your life waiting for this expungement to happen? Trying to find a job in uh, working in the airport, try to get a job in there doing possibly mechanic work and with having that in my background I wasn't able to get employment with those types of agencies. So. I feel like this will help me move forward and possibly get a job in the airline eventually. Ramirez was just one success story from today's expungement clinic run by the cannabis-related business 420NJ Events. It's one of many such clinics they've held around the state, this one focusing on Newark as an impact zone, a community that's been hard hit by the war on drugs, a reality Brendan Robinson knows all too well. I grew up where my father was arrested for uh, selling cannabis, did 10 years in prison over it. Uh, my older brothers, my uncles, I am literally the only male in my family that has not been to jail or prison over this plan. I went from living a very, you know, lower middle class life to a welfare life overnight because of cannabis. Um, so I, I feel for the men and women that go through this. I feel for the men and women who can't live their lives and move forward and do different things because of this plant that so many are benefiting from these days. So again, it's like a calling for me. Some come in not knowing what's on their record. Others need help navigating the system. There's some folks who may qualify for the clean slate program, the drug court program, and automatic expungements, so on and so forth. But in, mo in most cases, is there's some type of administrative task that needs to take place that isn't happening. So we want to really bring them in, educate them around that process, and then obviously help them. Lawyers from the firm Brock Eichner were here all day providing free legal support and filing expungements for all those who are eligible. When you have a criminal conviction and when you're charged, you can be charged with just the possession or you can be charged with possession along with something else, such as like operating a motor vehicle or intent to distribute, intent to distribute anything like that. So what the state really did was they expunged the flat out just the marijuana exp uh, conviction itself, but not when it was attached to another crime. So we're here today to go through people's records to expunge anything that either the state missed or if it's attached to any other crime and because it qualifies for an expungement. And when they finish, they're connected with employment opportunities within the cannabis industry from both small and large scale distributors. I'm really excited just to be able to provide a platform to people for anybody to be able to get out of jail or prison, put their application on a website and immediately be seen as somebody who didn't deserve that sort of stigmatization and somebody who now has an expert opinion in cannabis. The biggest thing is just if you can help one person, you know. It'll take somewhere between three to six months before the records are cleared. Anyone whose expungement attempt wasn't able to be processed today can continue working with the lawyers here pro bono until their case is resolved. In Newark, I'm Joanna Gagas, NJ Spotlight News.